Welcome to another campus update with Inside Scoop. I'm Emily Regalado, here to bring you up to date on what is going on this week. Writer Leonardo Padura has a story done that captures his alter ego life in Cuba as a detective solving intense crimes. The novel recounts gruesome murders, thefts, scams, bribes, and humiliating secrets over the last four decades. Padura has been able to turn these stories into a series of detective thrillers showing the social and political chronicles of Cuba. To learn more about Padura, read the article on the AP website. World-renowned singer John Bon Jovi has gone through four music decades and is now enduring major vocal surgery while still staying strong. Bon Jovi has agreed to let director Gotham Chopra follow him with a documentary camera to show the world one of the lowest points in his career. Not being able to hit high notes the way he used to resulted in major surgery, where he is currently recovering and still rocking. Check out the documentary today on Hulu. A tram accident at Universal Studios Hollywood has left a dozen people injured. The accident occurred on Saturday night just after 9 p.m. The California Highway Patrol reported that the tram's last car collided with a metal guardrail, causing it to tilt and eject multiple passengers. Drugs and alcohol are not being considered a factor in the investigation, and luckily most guests suffered only minor injuries. On a brighter note, Kevin Bacon, American actor who starred in the classic 1984 film Footloose, has returned to a Payson, Utah high school where the movie was filmed almost 40 years ago. Bacon surprised students at what may be the school's final prom before its demolition next spring. The community campaigned for Bacon's visit, partnering with his charity, Six Degrees, to assemble care packages for charity. Bacon made it to a prom to remember for the students. In recent legislation, bans on book bans are gaining momentum in Minnesota as well as other Democratic-leaning states. Meanwhile, in conservative states, book bans have been at their highest in decades. Restrictions in these states have caused librarians and administrators to fear lawsuits, large fines, and even imprisonment. Lawmakers in Democratic-leaning states like Washington and Maryland have passed their bans on book bans this year with Minnesota following suit. In some fashionable news, this year's Met Gala is fast approaching. On May 6, pop culture icons will gather to sample the newest Metropolitan Museum of Art exhibit titled Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion. The dress code correlates to the exhibit and is called A Garden of Time. Vogue editor Anna Wintour is co-hosting this year with celebrities Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth. This year's looks are sure to be show-stopping. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Emily Regalado. Thanks for joining me on Inside Swoop.